Hello, welcome back. As part of the next video in the module 3 ETL with uh, Spark SQL, we will discuss about uh, cleaning the data in uh, Delta table. When we say cleaning the data, so uh, usually we will do certain, certain uh, once we bring the data into the, the storage location or the Delta tables, uh, we will have to cleanse the data or transform the data as per the business need. So based on the business requirements, uh, we are supposed to kind of uh, uh, transform the data into a required format and we do kind of a join the tables so we do kind of a select right we do kind of a do a filter operations remove some data add some extra data and other things right and also there might be need to enrich the data so with that uh, we will uh, kind of uh, discuss different uh, keywords or uh, different uh, options that we use uh, in uh, when we are dealing with delta tables uh, and uh, the concept of uh, cleaning the data in delta tables so before proceeding, if you are uh, new to this channel and haven't yet subscribed for this channel, we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for instant notifications. So let's get started. So as you can see, uh, what does uh, Delta cleaning means, right? Uh, so basically we will be having different column expressions, queries there to transform the data, right? And uh, that we call it as an expression, like a select start from something and then we apply a where condition, then do a order by. So all these combined, uh, it is called a one expression, like a SQL expression, right? We will write in a SQL. So similarly, we will call it, call it as an expression. And this expression might be a combination of like columns, okay, of the different tables and operators. You might use uh, any number of operators, right? Like count, distinct and other operators. So you can do a sum, you can take an average. So any such operations and uh, you might concat this string, uh, two columns, something like that. And uh, you can also use uh, built-in uh, Spark uh, SQL functions, okay? Like uh, as we told, right, like there may be some average. So this kind of built-in Spark SQL function you can use. And also you can create a user-defined functions as well. So basically the expression is a combination of all these things. And uh, when we're using data cleaning, uh, so the most commonly used uh, Keywords are select, where, distinct, order by, group by, and count, and so on, right? Like having will be there and other things. So it is, if you are familiar with SQL, uh, so it is, you might be well aware of all these uh, keywords and it is very similar that uh, that we will use them in uh, when we are dealing with data tables also. And we will finally see some, uh, how do we deal with nulls and strings and uh, date, date kind of formats also in this uh, demo. So before, uh, and uh, before I mean without waiting we will uh, st straightly jump to the demo now so how do we start uh, cleaning the data or uh, kind of start the process right just uh, first first thing your first step is definitely we will see what is there in the table so if the table not existing we need to verify that we are referring the correct table so if you are still not able to see the table you need to make sure that uh, you are uh, using the correct database here okay so let me switch to the correct database. Okay, and once we switch to the correct database, and uh, let us kind of uh, verify if the table is available. So this is the first step, right? We need to see that whether we are able to see the data, and uh, we can see the data in a particular format, and no records are kind of uh, uh, like truncated, or uh, they are uh, kind of uh, seeing in a different format. So as you can see this looks good now okay and the next step is we will have to start inspecting the data one by one right so how do we do that so we will have to see how many counts are uh, I mean there for each uh, each rows right so let us see that and uh, all the counts should be matching but as you can see the count of email IDs are not matching. Okay, that means that there are few nulls in these email IDs. Okay, so as you can see, yeah, you are able to see the nulls here. So these are all the nulls in the email IDs. So that is why you are seeing the count less. Okay, and also you can observe the total count is 986. But we are seeing 983, 983, 983. That means uh, these three columns also are null in few cases. So let us kind of uh, check. Yeah, we 
can sort by updated column I try let us try that yeah as you can see there are three records which are completely null so that is why you are seeing the count there is a mismatch I mean here total records is 986 uh, but uh, it is showing 983 983 983 so this is how you identify if there is any data issues uh, with respect to the count and uh, similarly we can see something very similar okay so as you can see this is the opposite of it here it will not count the nulls okay you are just counting the um, counting the uh, entire rows here right so here it just count counts the entire row rows and it gives the count but what if you if you want to count the number of nulls so in that case uh, you can just do a count if okay so count if is a conditional count so where you are giving a condition here where you will specify user ID is null. So in that case, it will give the exact count of missing records. Here, here you, you are just guessing, right? Like uh, it might be three records, it might be like four records, but here it actually gives the exact number of uh, missing records. Missing records in the sense, null records for each columns. And uh, what if, if you want to do a, get a distinct of a particular, uh, the entire table, right? So you can just do a count of distinct. So if you do a distinct, first let us do a distinct and see. Distinct of star will give all the distinct records. Okay. And uh, let us do a count of distinct star, right? So here it will it will give us 138. So 138 are the distinct records. Out of uh, how many records? Out of 986 records. Uh, you have only 136, 138 distinct records. That means there are duplicates. And also you can, uh, in the previous command, we executed missing user IDs, missing timestamp. These two, right? We were seeing three, three, right? That is the reason we will kind of execute one more uh, command here. And uh, let us take a distinct. So here, uh, so instead of distinct star, let us do a distinct of this user first mismatch where it was the nulls were three right so let us execute this and try so this is having one uh, nine one nine one seven distinct records but uh, if you take the entire uh, row right entire row the combination of the different columns uh, so then the distinct uh, records will reduce here okay so here uh, we have observed uh, something like uh, there are some duplicate records related to, to our total total row we have much higher number of distinct values right so the distinct values are high much higher here so let's go ahead and uh, combine our distinct count with a columnar count uh, to see the values side by side uh, so we can kind of understand it much, much better so we have combined this now Okay, so this is a great view you can see right the total IDs are 983 but uh, Unix are Unix are like 917 Okay, similarly total emails are 138 and unique emails are 138 here. We are good total updates are 983 unique update is only one So with this uh, we can clearly understand uh, and uh, how many distinct records are there uh, for each particular uh, columns Similarly, if you want to make it more uh, kind of uh, add, add more advanced this thing, right? So we can add uh, other columns, other column for checking the null also, like this. So as you can see, the total user IDs is 983 and unique IDs is 917, but missing user IDs, that means uh, null user IDs is 3. So everything, uh, all the stats you are able to kind of uh, observe here so what is this to do with the cleaning the data right so here uh, we can take a business decision saying that uh, okay this missing uh, user ids has to be filled with some uh, instead of nulls uh, can be filled with some default email ids or uh, let us delete all the records which are having missing missing user ids so that is the decision that we make and clean this data and uh, coming to the duplicates record so again we will have to go back to the business scenarios and check whether these are really the duplicate values if yes so then we have to kind of a dedupe these values and keep only the unique records which will be clean basically in this uh, table right uh, we are expecting the first two columns 
that is user ID and uh, user first touch timestamp. So the combination of these two should be unique. Okay, so let us see how to do that. So as you can see, we are doing a distinct of, I mean, we are combining these two and checking what is a distinct. That means we are checking the combination of these two, uh, how many distinct we are getting so that we'll understand what is the number of duplicates. Okay. As you can see, it's around uh, 918 records. Okay. And also like uh, we can include uh, since user ID, there are some user IDs which are null. We can include uh, remove those as well here. User ID is not null, so we consider only the not null records. So that means here we have 917 distinct records, and uh, these are the clean records for us because uh, the combination of these two should be unique. And finally, we can use the same logic uh, to kind of uh, dedupe the entire table. So as you can see, this is the same thing, right? Like group by these two columns we are doing because these are these two are like a primary key, like a composite primary key for us. And uh, this command, this we are just removing the nulls. Uh, we don't want nulls here. And we will see that we will uh, read this from uh, users that users dirty table. Okay. And then so we will uh, select the particular columns that we need and uh, take max of email as email and max of updated as updated to kind of uh, fill in the missing values right so he, by this way i mean uh, we are de deduplicating the values uh, and uh, putting into some new table so we have completely removed the deep duplicates now So now uh, we are sure that we have cleaned the data, but uh, let us kind of uh, verify this. So here what we are doing is uh, the inner uh, query inside inner query, the nested query, what we are doing, we are taking, uh, uh, we are reading the dedupe, uh, the new table and uh, we are doing, we are doing a group by by user and we are checking how many counts per user. Okay. And uh, from that, uh, we are just uh, selecting the, the counts and uh, which are actually like less than or equal to one. So then we will be able to see if there is any records here. So it is returning true. That means the max of row count is less than or equal to one. That means it's always uh, zero or one. That means all the records, uh, all the user, user IDs are unique now. Okay, so this is how we can programmatically kind of validate it or uh, I think you can do it uh, one more way. Let us try one more way is like uh, group by user ID and then having count of star greater than one. As you can see, there are no records. That means that there are no duplicates. Simple as that. Okay, each user ID is having only one count. That means all user IDs are Unix. Okay, so now that uh, we have cleaned up the data with the deduplicate logic. Finally, we will see something about uh, the date format and regex. So when we are talking about uh, data transformation, uh, so the date format uh, is, is, I mean, is, is commonly most commonly used and also the regex is also most commonly used. Uh, and uh, now uh, we have removed, I mean, previously in the previous step, we have removed the nulls, we have eliminated the duplicates and all, all the things, right? And now uh, in the below code, uh, what we will do is uh, we will correctly scale and cast the user timestamp because if you see the timestamp, right? Let us see the timestamp. So wherever we have executed it, yeah. So you can see the timestamp, it is just looking like a some uh, some some integer value right some long value so it has to be kind of a formatted in a proper format that's that's the whole intention here and also the email id is uh, if you can see the email id is uh, so we need to validate the email ids okay properly and see 
that we will do using the regex so coming back to the code that we are discussing right so here uh, we are using a date format first touch okay so before that uh, what we'll do is uh, yeah so this is a, like a linux timestamp and they are converting it uh, they are dividing by this value and converting it to first touch and once it is converted uh, as a first touch so let me kind of execute the inner query first so we can explain this better So let us take only that user first. So like uh, it is like a Unix uh, timestamp, right? So that has been converted to the proper timestamp. So you can see it's a proper timestamp, but still it is not a formatted timestamp, right? So to kind of format, uh, so this output we will giving, uh, we are giving it to the further uh, outer select statement. Here what they will do is uh, we will kind of a format that data in this particular format. So it's a month, day and year and uh, we will also format the time uh, so here like hour minute and second with the colon separated okay and email uh, we are writing some regex so let us see what the output is as you can see email is in the particular format okay and uh, also uh, the timestamp so in, most importantly the timestamp right so it has uh, changed into a proper timestamp now like you can see as you can see like uh, the, the we have separated out the date we have separated out the time okay so here we are just taking the month day and year right so that's where it's coming as a month day and year and uh, we are taking the time in the separate column so time has been separated here and also we are just extracting the email domain from the email id so what we are doing is we are writing a regex so uh, explaining the regex is not part of this uh, scope of this video but uh, you can just imagine right so whatever uh, is coming after at the rate uh, so that's been uh, captured here so that's what we can tell so with this this regex i uh, will take everything after the at the rate so that means uh, you can see the you can get the domains some email id will be read at the rate gmail some email id will be read at the rate yahoo so this regex is kind of a successfully fetching anything after that at the rate and making it bringing it as a email domain okay so these are the different uh, uh, options that we can use the so basic options that we can use to cleanse the data we can dedupe the data so we can format the data into the multiple formats we can handle the nulls okay so hope it was useful uh, to understand the how do we clean the data at a basic level right hope it was useful thanks for watching